Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. For today's video, we need to talk about glitter and lasers because I don't know about y'all, but I have been following her latest lip edema journey over on the TikTok and here on YouTube, and I have a lot of thoughts. We will start by discussing where this all began, the Wagovi drama, her weight loss and lip edema journey. What's going on with this surgeon? Is she sponsored? There have been several instances lately where people think Anna may be hiding something or just flat out lying. Something strange is afoot and we are going to get to the bottom of it. So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, y'all. So I wanted to start off by doing a bit of backstory in regards to this weight loss journey that Anna Glitter and Lasers has been on for the past couple of years. It all started when she put out a video on her YouTube channel saying that she was thinking about, she was toying with the idea of weight loss, the idea of trying to improve her health. She had to keep it kind of subtle because of the fat acceptance followers that she had cultivated over over the years and she did get crap from people including fat girl Flo, the most delusional fat acceptance girly for daring to promote such a thing as getting healthy how dare you over the course of this journey there has been a lot of speculation surrounding her is she using ozempic wagovi semaglutide one of these medications right at first she kept it very under wraps and even made a tiktok saying people have been saying i got the surgery or i haven't lost any weight but I lost 60 pounds and then follows that up with a montage of her working out, implying it was the exercise, knowing that she was on Wagovi for three months at the time. Now she's been on it for a little over a year. There was an Instagram post admitting to taking a certain weight loss medication, but people quickly found out that she works with Norvo Nordisk, who makes Wagovi. It was all pretty obvious. People put two and two together and were able to figure out that she was on Wagovi but people are still critical of her for not being honest. It wasn't something that she had addressed very often. Many were still in the dark and didn't see this single Instagram post where she talks about a mysterious medication. She would promote her exercise videos. I wouldn't blame you for not knowing she was on it. I think that that's a fair criticism. I mean, she does more sponsored posts for Starbucks. I mean, a lot more. To prepare for this video, I watched her last three months on TikTok and there were like five Starbucks ad posts. She's got connections. So people have been upset with her for a while now for not being transparent about taking this medication. It was almost like an open secret. A lot of people knew. But I also find her relationship with the company kind of weird. She never really talks about it. And she's supposed to be a sponsor for them. What sealed it for people was she was in this video talking about her experience on like a round table. It was a production put together by Norvo Nordisk. She told people that she was taking a way loss medication last year, but did not confirm what it was until recently. So I got around to watching her TikTok vlogs before the lip edema surgery. Lately, Anna has been struggling because she went off of the Wagovi to prepare for this lip edema surgery. She says that the Wagovi really helped with inflammation and pain in regards to her lip edema and of course her appetite as well. She began to notice the impacts right away, not being able to walk more than two miles without, in her words, bumbling around. And and after seeing a specialist, her mobility has seriously regressed. All that training she did to learn how to walk. Yes, learn how to walk. She says it, it regressed. And she now has all the same problems from before. While watching her feed, it's interesting because I noticed she was just in New York getting cotton candy and Japanese treats. Did she overdo it in New York? I mean, they have amazing food. Did that contribute to this in any way? I can tell you right now it didn't help. I've also just heard of countless people getting off of Wagovi slash Ozempic, gaining all of the weight back, going right back to the bad eating habits that got them there to begin with. That's what is scary about this whole trend. You can't stay on it forever. So that brings us to her YouTube video she put out announcing this titled, I'm having surgery. Right off the bat, people had taken issue with this video saying that it's over dramatic, performative, her crying is fake. There's bugs flying around the hotel room. It's a bit of a mess for sure. 
later. So Anna says that she feels she's dealing with her lip edema too late. She is considered stage four, which made me remember a comment she had posted on TikTok. The commenter said, I suffer from lymphedema. I've never heard there was a surgery. Can you explain what it is and does? To which Anna replied, this is lip edema. It's a different condition. But when I went to see what stage four lip edema meant, the Cleveland Clinic said, stage four means you have lip edema and lymphedema at the same time. Anna later states in her newest video on YouTube that she does have both lip edema and lymphedema. So why was she trying to tell this commenter that she didn't. Why was she so short with the commenter? Anna claims since the beginning of her journey two years ago, she has lost a total of 100 pounds, but stopped losing weight in January. So she started Wagovi in May 2023, right? Based on the Instagram post. And already by January, she couldn't drop a pound. That was it. The scale was stuck. All the time she claims to have maintained an 1800 to only 2000 calorie diet. And we have seen how active she is on social media, going on all of these trips all the time. Now, we have to remember that lipedema does not respond to diet or exercise. That is the truth. But she is not her size solely because of lipedema. I found a story of a woman who lost 350 pounds, but still her legs were big because she had lipedema and the doctors continued to misdiagnose her and tell her to keep losing weight. But Anna presents this as if it's the only reason that she can't lose weight because of her condition. And we have seen people with the same struggles on shows like 600 Pound Life and even online drop weight. That's where she loses people. At the end of the day, many believe that Anna is overeating, plain and simple. I mean, there's a Mountain Dew in the background of the video. You can't make this stuff up, folks. And that would not be a problem. I mean, yeah, it's a problem for her, but I don't think people would be coming for her this much if she was just honest about that. So yes, in regards to her deciding to go through with this surgery, good for her. That's great that she has the ability to do that because three doctors told her if she didn't do something now, now, her mobility was going to be like, that was going to be it. And look at her channel. Every other week, she's on vacation somewhere. Not being able to walk would really change things for Anna. I do start to get Amberlynn vibes in the middle of this video because she says that she's been gaslit and says flat out she is not the problem. The condition is the problem. I do feel bad for her dealing with this, but I also feel like there is something disingenuous about everything that she does. By leaving out a huge part of the story, people only know half of what's going on here. Never does she mention how she got to this size, what she is eating, what she isn't. When did she have a slip up? Because these things are okay. Nobody is going to have a perfect weight loss journey. It feels like she is gaslighting us by putting everything on the lipedema. And this is a woman who just cried because she got the wrong bagel order. I mean, clearly she doesn't play when it comes to her food. Neither do I. I walked two damn miles in pain. <laughs> Didn't even get the right pick. In this video, I'm telling you guys, I did not see one tear. She's crying the whole time, but there was not one tear shed. I looked. I got the magnifying glass out. At one point, she takes shots at the fitness community and the fat acceptance community all in one. This was interesting. I don't even freaking care anymore if I'm controversial, it's fine. But on one hand, people are telling you it is all your fault and you are the problem and you are making choices that led you to this. And on the other hand, you have a community of people who are telling you, you were just meant to be big, don't do anything about it. And guess what? Both of those are wrong. It's just more BS from her. You can admit that yes, you overeat. Yes, you have a condition at the same time. I don't understand why she can't acknowledge that her obesity plays any role in this. And it's clear to anyone with two eyeballs that she's not making the right food choices all the time. Like I said, nobody's perfect. Things happen, but not admitting this is just dishonest. She's doing a disservice to her community. And that's why it's hard to take her seriously a lot of the time. I'm glad I caught this because you blink and you miss it. She finally says the reason why she thinks that she's not losing weight. And she says she's producing lipidemic cells faster than she's losing the healthy body fat. And she's done everything right. 
it. And this is all the progress that she can make. I'll let y'all decide what you think about that. To me, I just find this whole crying on social media thing very weird and manufactured. But anyway, we're going to move on to Anna's newest video on YouTube, originally titled I Can't Walk Anymore, but since changed to It's Worse Than I Thought. People did take an issue with her original title. That's why she changed it. Someone said that it felt disingenuous. They are in a wheelchair. Anna is standing up in the video. She can walk. I understand that post-surgery it's going to be hard, but I can't walk anymore. That's not true. There were several people calling her out on this and she just eventually changed it. Anna opens the video saying that she is five days post-op. It's over, guys. She's walking. She's talking. She looks good for being five days post-op. It then cuts to before the surgery. This is her documenting this vlog style. She's going to have a lot of surgeries, guys. Many surgeries over multiple years. Anna goes to another appointment and then talks about how she has picked her team to do this surgery. Now, here's where things get weird. People have noticed that on her posts on TikTok, she has been using the hashtag alt ambassador. Her surgery team and the program that they are doing is called the alt program. So she calls herself an alt ambassador. Ambassador. So now people are wondering if she is being honest about her reasons for picking this team. Was it because she thought they were the best for the job? Or did she want to work with them in a mutually beneficial relationship? Cha-ching. Is Anna being paid by the program? It's worth mentioning that her Starbucks posts include hashtag Starbucks ambassador and then the little paid sponsorship logo. But there's nothing disclosing she's being paid to promote this surgery. Is she getting a discounted price on treatment by documenting all of this online. This is very important. I know sponsored posts are a thing, but that's usually a new drink or supplement. It's not usually a whole surgery. And where this could be an issue, a conflict of interest, if you will, will she be honest about her opinions, about her surgery, possible complications? Because this is a very serious surgery, what she is promoting. It is not just another random product. And there are people out there dealing with this same thing that might go to this surgeon because she recommends them. This is not just some supplement you wasted 30 bucks on because Kim Kardashian said it made her lose five pounds in three days. Like, this is a surgery. I think she needs to be 100% clear with the audience, not only for her own integrity, but I also believe it's against the law not to disclose something like that. But knowing Anna, I'm skeptical because everything she posts is some sort of advertisement. What does it mean to be an investor? ambassador. She needs to clarify that. Is Anna again hiding something? All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. A lot of this most recent video was things that she already said either on TikTok or in the previous. So I will keep you guys posted on this journey. We'll definitely take a look on my live stream as well. Sunday nights. See you there. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.